This first slide provides kind of a bird's eye view of uh, all the chemical regulations in Korea. The point of this slide is to just provide an overview and to kind of give you, convey that there are a lot of chemical regulations here. Um, no less than six different ministries and 26 uh, uh, regulations, laws and regulations pertain to chemical regulations. Uh, there really isn't one unified, comprehensive uh, law that covers everything, but you have uh, very many laws that, uh, you know, and so what this, you know, provides a challenge for uh, industry to be aware of all the re relevant regulations, but from a government's perspe perspective, it also um, sometimes creates holes or uh, little blind spots where products kind of fall through the cracks in regulation. So the three major acts here are Toxic Chemicals Control Act. Uh, it, is a, it is a general law or the main law where you kind of want to start, start from, and it, you know, it pertains to those three uh, stages that I talked about, market access, distribution, and discharge. Um, of course, it's also going to be replaced fairly soon. Occupational Safety and Health Act uh, is on, it regulates the uh, chemical substances that can pose uh, health risks to employees. And Safety Control of Dangerous Substances Act um, regulates storage, transportation, and handling of uh, inflammable or ignitable substances, so things that really burn or ignite very easily. So the impact of K-REACH and CCA, well, well one of the big impact is that uh, toxic, with co toxic Chemical Control Act, um, it, it excluded a lot of the product, products that are regulated under other acts. For example, drugs, cosmetics, fertilizers, some household products. Uh, whereas under the K-REACH and K-REACH slash CCA regime, um, this, the new comprehensive system will apply across the board and uh, apply to all, all different kinds of industries um, that, that use chemicals. Uh, going over some of the changes that will be taking place with the CCA, there will be st stronger regulations, stronger restrictions, calls for uh, personal pr protective gears, restriction on the amount of toxic chemicals that can be displayed or stored for sale. Um, there will be uh, increased oversight of subcontractors. You will need to report all your subcontracts. There will be a new uh, stricter accident reporting requirement where uh, you need to immediately report any chemical accidents and a failure to do so will result in a maximum uh, uh, penalty of two years imprisonment or $100,000. $100, um, the business license system, uh, the license will be conditional upon submission of environment, environmental impact assessment, risk management plan, facility inspection report and such. Um, whereas before it was a simple registration system, now you have to apply for and uh, receive a permit. Uh, Off-site impact analysis will be required. A uh, facility that is to handle hazardous chemical uh, substances will have to do an adva in advance uh, off-site impact analysis support where you, you, you know, in case of an accident, you kind of have to evaluate what would happen to the surrounding areas and, um, and contingency plans for such. And then risk management plan for people who are handling high volumes of uh, accident-prone substances, they must establish a risk management plan every five years. Okay.